how can a man be born into this earth without recognizing the divinity of his mother? The womb, the original home. That starts our journey from parental love into the harsh realities of the world. How have we gone so far from the truth? We've come from the mother being the goddess to women becoming second class citizens, manipulated by a sick society into believing you aren't deserving of paradise. How do we get back to paradise? The journey starts within. As a man, it's easy to sit at home and wonder what's gone wrong with the world. It's difficult to watch videos of our queens beating each other in the streets or our teens being wrangled like cattle in bathing suits on a normal summer day by cops who don't care. It's difficult to take late night phone calls from single mothers who are at their wits end, feeling defeated because the man who said they would be there has chosen to flee, changing her life and going on with his own. It's difficult to watch the fall of Cleopatra as she is taken from her throne and cast aside and bound as a broken commoner. But it's sure easy to judge. It's easy to question the moral compass of society and wonder where their parents are and where their parents were and what their parents must have been like to cause a chain of distortion in their twisted ancestry. It's so easy to sit back, shake our heads and pray for hope and change. It's easy, but it's a weak thing to do. We all have a part to play, man or woman, in fixing our society. I cannot live without a woman giving me life and my lineage cannot live on without a woman to carry and nurture and give birth to the life within me. You, the woman, the queen, the goddess, the holy trinity of femininity are the key to the future of the world. But so many of your thrones are empty. Did you not know you were royal and divine? Did you forget or did society forget to tell you? It's time for you to return. We need you. If society never tells you, I'm telling you now. If you could just know that you are free, know that the power has never left you and anything broken can be fixed, anything sick can be healed, not only can you be whole again, but you can be the healer. Be whole. Be the healer. No physical and worldly limitations can truly stop you from being free. You may have chains on your hands and feet, but you have wings. You're tougher than the glass ceiling above you and you belong in the sky above it. If you break free, we will break free. If you fly, we will fly. If you sit at your throne, we will sit beside you. We cannot live without you. We will not survive. A better you means a better us and that means a better world. Mike said it best. He started with the man in the mirror and so did I. I woke up, looked in the mirror and realized what I had to do. I have to love, protect and honor what I know I need. So consider this my letter, my love offering, my prayer. Consider this my plea from a son, advice from a brother, and guidance from a father. No longer will I use my voice against the divine. I'm here to passionately yell life into you and help you restore your power. I humbly come to you, asking you to return to your throne, asking you to recognize the ultimate lady within. Look around, the world is out of balance, and you are the balance that we need to win. Without you, we are lost. Without you, we have lost. We cannot afford to lose anymore. A lady always wins. Will you?